Hi, Chad, as well. Had a pretty exciting night in the Euro last night with a lot of volatility. Um, ECB came out, uh, did a bigger than expected rate hike, 50 basis points, where most of the market was expecting 25, though. There was some pricing in of 50, so the, the reaction was fairly muted. Um, I guess one of the big things was the Ford guidance was softened quite a lot. Uh, it's quite different from the, the aggressive tone of their rate tightening cycle in the in the June meeting. Um, so we saw the reaction of the euro kind of outlines this pretty well. We saw initial spike up um, and it rapidly sold off as that forward guidance um, came out. It, it, it suggests to me that the ECB, um, they know that their window is rapidly closing for rate hikes. So they're trying to get in fast and hard while they can. Um, recessionary forces look uh, very likely to overtake the Eurozone in the near future. And um, I guess they thinking that they want to get these rate hikes done now um, because by September, they might not be able to justify them, but with the economic backdrop. backdrop. So going forward, uh, looking at the chart, we see um, pretty clear ch uh, trend channels here. And uh, a lot of resistance, I would suggest, around that 105, 103.50 level where the old support was. Um, and the top and the top uh, of that channel at 104, this is going to be really hard for the year to get through. And, and judging from the reaction last night, I think we're probably more likely to test the test the bottom of that channel, get back down to parity. That's that's my opinion. And and I think that's kind of borne out. The rate markets are, I think, aggress uh, too aggressive in their their um, prediction of what the ECB is going to do as far as rate hikes go. I think that's going to have to pull back. And that repricing of the rates market, I think, will be a real headwind on the euro. Um, one other thing as well, looking at the retail kind of positioning on the euro, we've got uh, almost two to one long, which uh, when you see a, a percentage like that, it's, it's, it's a contrarian signal. So I would say that's another bearish signal. But um, anything happen in the FX market? So trade carefully and um, thanks for watching.